So as you can see, I started off with a modified bloom, um, which was okay. Um, I thought some of the flowers were really pretty, but the background was really a mess. And the more I worked on it, the worse it got. So that's why I decided to take my hair dryer out and start blowing it out. So there was a lot of paint on this canvas and the more I used my hair dryer to blow it out, the more paint came through from uh, underneath all of that and that's where that white kind of just appeared. Okay, so I started off with something, a little painting that I thought would work and I didn't like it. So I decided to blow it out and then it took a few tries to get this right. But I do love what I'm seeing here now. I think I'm gonna let it dry and then I will see if I need to embellish it. But I do love the colors together and I think it looks wonderful. Moving the cells there. So for anyone who thinks that uh, fluid pouring is easy, it's not. It's not an easy thing to get it just right and to get a beautiful composition. Um, so if you're trying it out, just take your time. Use three colors, no more than that, and uh, you'll have better success. So come right back. This will be drying in, it will take about a day or two and I'll show you here in just one second. I decided to work on it just a bit by enhancing that area where I thought it looked like a butterfly. So I decided just to uh, outline it just a little bit uh, to give the indication that there's something there. I love this part right here especially and uh, just kind of leave the rest of the imagination love the colors in this piece and there's a lot of texture because there was a lot of paint on here but I think that adds to the um, interest as well look at the beautiful combinations of color there very very lovely and I love the little cells here Click on the link you see now to see more of my enhanced pores. Join my Facebook group called Soraya Silvestri Artist, Amazing Abstracts, Semi-Abstracts and Pores. The link is in the description area below.